perfect wall. The concept of the perfect wall is probably the very best place to start learning about building science. It's where I started and it's unbelievably helpful in presenting the relationships between the control functions in our walls and the finish functions. The thing to remember about the perfect wall is that it's not a real wall. It's a conceptual wall and it's best understood as a teaching tool, again, to understand the proper relationships between the components of our walls. Now you can certainly design a real wall that closely matches the perfect wall, but when you design a real wall, you have to make all kinds of decisions that the perfect wall tells you nothing about. The perfect wall will just generically show you the cladding, for example. In a real wall, you have to decide specifically what that cladding will be and how it will be attached to the structure. You have to decide specifically what that water control membrane will be and how it will be applied. These are not small decisions and a lot of care and consideration goes into making them. But the perfect wall is a great place to start.